This is the chair guy. Module 7, case problem 3. We all know how to do this part, so please do. Okay, so now we're going to name cells. Um, this is the assignment that I always want in the beginning. So I see that these cells already have names. If you see right up here, you can see that they're already named. I don't have a problem actually with those names, except that I would put in customer name. I would change it to customer name. And I'll show you how to do that. See, we've got chair name, style, wood. Yeah, those are names. Let's see what we got over here. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so we're going to insert data validation here. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, click on data validation, which is on the data tab. I already did this just to make sure that it worked. So we're going to say allow list, which means you can choose from it. And we're going to choose data between, and I picked the wrong source. So when you're in here, you want to highlight all the stylists without the title. And just pull down to there. Nice, okay. So we're going to do the same thing here for wood. Data validation. Settings. We want also a list. It's a smaller list, but we want a list nonetheless. Enter. Oh, um, I'm not sure why that keeps popping up, but we should edit that data validation because it needs an input message. And you should say, pick wood type. I don't know. I don't think it has to be. That's pretty much for your own use. I don't think that needs to be anything special, as long as it makes sense. OK. Now, color, we should pick from that list. Another data validation. So you know how to do these, so just move on and we'll rejoin the lesson when we're done with this step.